Do you have any constitution? Oh shit, I get plus constitution. That puts, yeah. puts, puts me on 12. Nice. I've got two yeah. for my constitution modifier. Yep. Ah, uh, you're still above average then. Yeah, it should be grand. It basically means if you keep rolling ones, you'll be like, I don't like the idea of being level like 10 and having like 30 health when pretty much everything does 30 damage as like a plus. Like, it's ridiculous. Still the shittiest wizard in the party, though. No, wizards are glass cannons. They're always low health. Well, you, are the the you are the shittiest wizard in the party, you're also but the you're best. also the best wizard in the yeah. party, yeah. Party <laughs> uh, needs to get some higher standards on the best wizard here. Yeah, like but might... we only have one wizard, so it doesn't matter. You'll always be the best, for now. Well, if someone dies, they can remake a wizard. That's better. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> who would do that? Nah. Who would have the nuts just to die and then, like... I stabbed myself the better wizard. <laughs> I stabbed myself in the heart, right, through the heart. Oh, five minutes later, some little man comes up. It's like, hey, can I join your guy? I'm a wizard. <laughs> I like Azam. <laughs> man, no, my magic word is hocus pocus. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, great movie, great movie. Um, right, it is the next day. Harvest is in two days. The Harvest Festival. Um, as you, the two lads staying in the forest, as you wake up, you know, at the middle, at dawn, you're actually woken up by a bunch of people kind of heading into the forest in around you guys. They have massive baskets of, of things, um, and they're heading in towards the forest. Um, throughout the night, you, no, you heard nothing. It was a nice calm night. It was a bit cold at some stages, but like, you put some more firewood on, you were grand. And, uh, no, nothing happened to you during the night but you did it wasn't the it wasn't the best welcome area it was very it, it did the job you're used to shitty places but it wasn't like i don't mean shitty places as like bad and uncomfortable it was just not they, they were just being a bit too we have to be like thieves because we're thieve guys and uh, like no one can know what we do sort of thing even though the guys on the docks were just the most blatantly Stupid people in the world. Okay. Tell well, me that again, because that went straight over my head. Sorry. Like, you, you, but you're used to basically to summarize it quickly. It wasn't an unpleasant night, but the reception from the people around here isn't great. Okay. Basically, summarize it quickly. But yeah. If I were woken up yeah, by just people some... just talking and stuff, like it's not like they're woke, yes. woke you, but like I, I, I would like to wake up and just like yell out a dwarvish like swear word just because like fuck them for waking me up. Um, but then just start my day. Um, get the fire going again. The person you say that to was, uh, her name is Karen. She is uh, elf. It was and... pointed towards a person. It was just like to the world, just like let yeah. the world so know there they was, should there not was, do that. There was three people carrying baskets, and one of them is a elvish girl, and I, I named her Karen for a reason. You'll get two seconds. She is not happy with the fact that you just screamed in her face. She starts. She comes straight over, puts her bo box of cr stuff. If she's down. walking that close to me. Oh yeah, she's walking to her as you like you you shout that, and I you're like halfway to max. <laughs> just gonna stab her straight away. Roll, roll, roll no, 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 no. But she's like, she's get, she's about to get in here. She puts down the box. She starts marching up to you and going, "What? Why are you doing that? Like, we're just walking. We're we're setting up for Harris house. Like, what are you doing? Like, uh, I uh, was uh. sleeping. It's like, yeah, and we weren't loud. We we're walking. To, we're setting up. Like, you have no right to do this. Like, like you, you can piss off back and back off to wherever good, you came like, from. Like mile that way. I'm pointing like as far away from like Tens anything as possible. Um, you could have walked over there, and I wouldn't have had a problem. But for you to walk right next to our camp and waking us up, I have my dwarven rights to yell out these words. It's like, yeah, yeah, freedom of speech. Blah, blah, blah. It's like yeah, but I have my right to go set up for her. Uh, I mean, I I have to go set up for this beautiful festival, and you're just getting involved. Like. I could have been done by that. I could have been moved on. But no, you have to get all up and tight and go say your stupid words in your stupid language. Like, what did you even call me? I called you nothing. What do, it's like, well, it's clearly directed at me you. and my friends. And we don't... We, oh, we're it was clearly directed at you. Yeah, of course it were. 
She's having <laughs> none of it. But like, honestly, you, you you feel like you could take her. I'm not gonna lie. She's literally just like a skilled elf bitch. Just being a little like. So, does any person. of the other ones stop, or do they just wander on? They, they just kind of watching this happen. They're like, they're okay, so one, one of them is shaking their. If you're watching the people her. behind, okay. if you're watching the people behind actively, like one of them shaking their head, going, "Oh, not again." Basically, it has okay. that look of her. Um. So I I, I want to walk up to her. Yep. And well, she's like, like just... coming up to you in your face. Well, right? I, I, I know, but I, I want to take that one extra step just to make it personal, you know. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, call her a rupol, um, and then walk back to like making camp and stuff like that. A, a what? Yes, exactly. Um, it's a Danish name for, uh, like bread, basically. Okay. Um, I thought this was something I'd have to like remove. Th- quick, th- that, th- th- that, that is my uh, that is my dwarven swear word for now. Uh, rupol. Um. We can make that kind of. We can say um, Danish is dwarven. I I I, I kind of want to make that because that means yeah. I can just yell Danish words yeah. as far as they are Go appropriate. Through. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Sure. Until you meet a dwarf, and then I'm gonna have an issue. But yeah, we can totally do that. Yeah, it's perfectly reasonable. <laughs> just don't make dwarfs. Yeah. We'll just put subtitles up for you, Tiberian. No, oh, but like, boy. I have a cousin that can translate four languages for me. Danish is can the, you do pretty Danish? much Danish. No, she can do German, Luxembourgish, French, and Belgium. And English and Irish, so technically there's more, but like I can do English and Irish myself. I can understand the Irish. Don't know, don't know how to speak it, but I can understand it. But like, no, not Danish. But it'll be fine. We'll figure that one out. <laughs> but do <Sweet>. you speak Karen? <laughs> do I speak Karen? Well, clearly, um, clearly he does now. She has, but she starts flipping her lid, doesn't move anywhere, and just starts screaming towards you generally while you're like, you know, mm. just walked away and just. I, 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 is she, she going to phone it. the I'm... police with her white elf privilege? Well, there's no guards around. She's a mile out of town. She knows that herself. She's just getting angry at you. Uh, Adran, this is happening, like, just to pass your head. Like, Yeah, good go morning, by the way. <laughs> Adran, right, you, good you... morning till she started whining. Where's your manager? Can we speak to him? <laughs> she she hears you say that and goes, you can go take it out with, with um, uh, oh, random name generator. Uh, Don't you have a husband to, like, call to? She's like, oh, no, I don't have a husband. I am a strong, independent elf. I can do what I like. I don't have I to get a child yet. I'm now. only 110. I'm still young. I still have my rest of my life to live. I don't need to get a then family. Don't waste it here, you absolute rubble. Yeah, I've been around for 110 <sighs> years and haven't learned any manners yet. Like, oh, manners? Use it or one screaming at me while I'm talking to my friends, heading into the forest to set up a festival. Like, uh, and, and if you want to know my manager's name, well, well I would random, start clicking on random ass things. Uh, yeah, we'll click this and we'll go. Yeah, cool. We'll go this. My manager. Denise. Oh, fuck. No, it came up with C H R Y S S A. Where the fuck that is? Let's not have Greek selected. <laughs> Lucas. There we go. Lucas. Of like, course, it's man- Lucas. It had to be a man. Mm-hmm. Wow, wow. I I tried to pick a woman, um, but you know, yeah, yeah Lucas. So you tried to pick a woman, and you called her Lucas. No, I I refreshed the screen and clicked generate and hoped I could read the name. The name of the manager is Lucas, and you, you, and he's like, you can find Lucas in the nobles' quarter because he's a noble because he's so much better than the sully he's like so you much that like than you. That's why forest. he isn't here. Does that make you a noble as well? It's like no. I don't want to be a noble. I I don't. He's just he's just we're just above you people. Like you know, sleeping out in the forest, like little like poor. Like ugh, it's like it's like. Could you just get a job or something? Uh, are, you, are you worth anything by yourself? Privilege again. What, what do you mean by that? Are you worth anything by yourself? If if, if you by chance were tied up. And kept here. Would anyone? It would anyone. Uh, I was going to say for this you is, to, this, to be back. Of course. This is where the dwarf gets his axe out and he starts rubbing his thumb across the blade, just thinking, "If you were to disappear, would anybody miss you?" <laughs> yeah. Her friends. Her friends. And when they hear that sort of tone, they know what's happening, and they actually let me double check this. They kind of just shout towards this. That's how you find out her name. It's like, uh, Karen, Karen, look, we just need to get this done. We have lots of other stuff to do. Like, once we pick the spot in the forest, we, we, you, come on, Karen, we should leave. And Karen is not listening to them. She's like, of course they would care. They would care a lot more for me than you. 
Who who are you? So some little smelly little dwarf that sleeps I, out in the forest. I, I ignore her words and look at Adrian. Should we just tie her up and see, like, sell her to the highest bidder? I don't think she's worth well, anything. We couldn't sell her. Ah, uh, true. Stick her in the rabbit hutch. Um. <laughs> what is? So Karen, who would pay for you? Um, she goes to slap you and uh, miss it. You catch the. It, it's such a bad slap. Like you saw her like build back her hand and you catch her hand. May I just, slap like, her back? Yes, yes. But you caught you caught her hand. Uh, it's a dwarf versus elf slapping contest. <laughs> um, only roll a six. Oh, um, but it Wait, being unarmed, next, what... it is a plus six, so that's a twelve. Oh, because you're a stupid little monk. I forgot. Like, nobody's just exactly. add back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you clip her straight it's across the face, and it's just monk. beautiful. Like, you know that perfect slap sound? It's just I think I can outrun her. Straight across. Of course you can. Don't uh, <laughs> Yeah, she, she's like. She's unconscious on the floor. No, no, she's just straight across the face. Well, are you trying to, like, physically I'm hurt her with the slap? I'm not trying to harm yeah. her. I'm well, just like, it this is, is just to show her. <laughs> Perfect yeah. slap of all time. And then you can tell she's like in physical pain. Like you can see her eyes welling up. Like, you know, you know someone's in pain and their eyes are she's like, <laughs> it's like, oh, like, I don't, like, why would you put your oh, hand? Karen, Karen, and Karen, she just kind Karen, of starts. Karen, 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 stop. Okay. Should we settle this like real people? T t t tell you what. From here, and then I point to whatever line seems somewhat clear between the, the, the two of us. Whoever can reach that point the first wins the argument, and the other, the other just leaves, right? It's like, it's like I don't need to, it's like, oh, you and your, your men, which are like, uh, like competition, I don't need, like, I, and you can tell her, like, she's welling up. Are, like, are you like, telling I'm me you're afraid of running look, 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 against look, a dwarf? Just, just just I'm gonna just go away. Like I just don't want to deal with this. I'm gonna go. go. Like and she just she just wa starts walking towards her box. She's not having any of this. But you can tell in her face and her eyes, she is about to ball her eyes out. Like your slap was just for you. It was just like you know slap across the face. But it was so perfectly like targeted. It was that perfect, beautiful. Like you know, it, you couldn't have hit her. I lay my more hand on ever. top of a box. Her box is like hey. you have to walk up to that. This is PG. I'm, 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 I'm walking up. Uh, I'm following okay. her and like and, and putting my hand on the box. We're keeping this. She's like, no, I gotta go set that up in the forest. You can just back off, and she got like, you are to learn off. that you're worth more than this box. Therefore, you leave with it without it. Sorry. She, no, it's like, well, she, I don't. I'm not doing this. Look, I'm gonna set up this in the forest. We're gonna go do what we're told. I'm gonna do my real job because I have a job. Because you're just like a homeless per dwarf sleeping on with your silly little like. Well, he's a pretty cute looking like because uh, like even Adran's like hasn't been polite either. So, like, even though you 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 you're your cute little friend over there is like be, like. Look, just I'm gonna take this. We're leave. Look, look. You can go on your day. Just this is the. Okay, it's describe so early. The box. Hmm? Describe the box. It's just like a little wooden, like shitty little it's box. Box shaped. Like it's like a little, like it's not even like it. It is wood technically because there's no cardboard, and, but it's like just a shit well, wooden if box. If I were to kick it, would it like? You you'd feel like you could probably put a hole in it. Like it's like a. Crate is it more like it. a crate than yeah. a box? If, if yeah. I jumped on it, would it like? Would it just flat down? Oh, probably. But like inside it is like bunting, some like paints, something you can see like yeah, I, I was funny that it's more of a crate than a box. You can see like roughly right. it's paints and stuff, so like or jars of some sort of liquid. So like they're clearly setting up and from all your conversations the other week or two weeks ago now at this stage, but from the other day or yesterday is like people are setting up for harvest. They're all trying to like mm. cut or I, I, farm I know out what their people areas. Are doing, but she's not going to do it. I'm sitting on the box. The other friends are stepping back and going, Karen, look, we will explain to Lucas. It's fine. We can go. And Karen is having a... The two friends are like, fuck this. Because they, they notice that, like, in your little camp, you have. Even though, like, obviously you don't sleep in full armor. But they notice, like, there are some weapons. You're clearly adventurers of some kind. The other people are not dealing with this. They just start to walk mm. off. One of them... Actually, let me just double check. One of them starts to whistle. Like, going... Just at, while they're walking, and you can tell they're walking with haste. <laughs> Sweet. Well, but, yeah, just I'm, I'm, I'm sitting on the box, not to destroy it, but rather to say this is our property now. 
She's like, no, that's Lucas's. It's going to the forest. Go away. And You'll she can see tears coming down her face at this stage. She is, when her friends left, she's like, you can see she's physically in pain. And she's like, look, look just please leave me alone. Just go away. Just let me get on my day. Like, it's, it's been a really hard day. Like, it's, it's so early. I just, like, I'm st- let me go. Karen, the day just started. It can't be that bad of a day. Well, like, you've after slapped me in the face. And it's like, she's clearly, oh, you like, slapped me first. Since, like, you can clearly tell, like, since, just putting together, since her friends have left, completely submissive. It's like, just, you've made my day. It's like, just let me take the box. Let me get you my job. Look, look, look. look. Look, I, look, I didn't mean to wake you. We we woke you for fine. Like I'm sorry. Just, just let us take the box. Karen, go on to the thing. Apologize and leave without the box. No, 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 no. Just let me take the box. I'll lose my job. I need my job. Otherwise, I'll be able to like, stay in my bed. I need Dutch. Sorry, can you say that again? Yeah, it's just it's an audible bollocks coming from her. She just wants to take her box, and she's tears streaming down her face. Ah, leave the box. There's nothing of value in it. But if I don't do my job, well, then I'll lose my job, and I won't be able to stay in my house, and I'll lose my house, and I'll lose what my friends. What is your job, like, Karen? Like, well, like, Lucas has asked me to help set up the, for the Harris Festival. I'm going to get commissioned from all the tickets we sell, and then we go to go, like, people are going to get face painted. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be like, we're going to like, set the fire, and she's like... <sighs> It's like, no, I really just have to go the box. put the fo- put you don't the put need the box. But I, if I can't don't have the box and I can't go paint like dip, paint it up and like set up the Adrian, area. I, 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 I know we don't need the box, um, but from now on I want to because it's it it's Karen seems to think that it is worth approximately her own life. Therefore, <laughs> she's not getting the box. <laughs> She kind of just stamps her feet and goes like, I'm going to tell Lucas about this, and that's why I didn't do my job properly. And she's like, she kind of looks around and realizes her friends aren't there. You go and, do that, Karen. And she kind of like, then she realizes that. like, they're, they're like, she can see they're like just nestling into the forest. And she kind of goes, I'll be back later with my friends. And like the guards, then we're, this is my box. And she kind of just like pisses off to find, to go up to her to people. But like, she's walking like really defeated. And she's kind of like being a twat. You can, yeah. Sweet. So I'm now finding my pen, opening my notebook, and writing down exactly what is in the box. <laughs> there is. It is a box by two by two by one. So it's two foot wide by one foot long. So it's a decently sized box, more of a crate than a box. But I'm going to keep saying box because I said that first. Mm-hmm. Inside it is, and you take off like a really small, like shitty lid. It's not really, it's, it's a lid to keep things from falling out, but it's not really a lid lid. Inside mm. is. Four mason jars. Inside mason jars are various viscous liquids, presumably paint or or something to decorate trees and stuff. There's also a spool of bunting, which is like the string with the small triangle stuff on it. Um, There is some like, not fake flowers, but there's some like one or two like flowers, like beautiful like stemmed flowers. There's some, there's a small like shell of a wreath so like it's basically like just like wire basically or yeah, something how kind. much bunting were there sorry uh like it's a twine thing if you're gonna unravel it it's about uh oh, it's, it's feet they use in um thing but two meters no longer sure. sorry five meters five meters which i, I think five meters, two okay. meters is very long bunting is a yeah. tiny amount you, you um, probably would, about... it probably wouldn't get from one tree to another yeah but five feet Five feet long there's, there's the flowers are worth what like two three there's there's four flowers but four? like they're like yeah. It's like a really perfectly like preserved like daffodil, um, and there's a perfectly preserved like I don't know my flowers very well, but like orchid, and there's a perfectly preserved like. Mm-hmm. But there's like they're most like one of them's like all white, one of them's purple, one of them's a perfect green, and um, they're just four different like beautifully preserved flowers, and um, that's and there's also some brushes, uh, some paint brushes of various sizes. There's three paint brushes of various sizes. Trying to keep up, yes. Yeah, it's about sixteen to twenty feet. Yeah, that that's what right, I'm sweet. thinking. So. There you go. You have box now, and Karen's pissed off. Sweet. I'll uh, go brew my tree. Sorry, see, they give me so you write out one thousand experience for the two lads defeating Karen. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll just like brew my tea and start my morning stuff like that. Meditate. Is she going to be a recurring villain? I, I re- really, <laughs> I rolled and it was a random encounter, and I was like, "They can't be like 
destroyed to it's it's the morning so yeah um, I, was, I was joking i don't want a recurring oh, yeah, i didn't write down that karen was i, I kind of wanted to be re reoccurring well she's in the town and she's gonna be in the forest mm. karen can't burn and... the forest oh sorry, I just want to write this down. you know what they say when when the kids used to bully each other at school like boys and girls it's because they used to like each other i reckon uh the dwarf got a thing for elves well he said she did spend the night with one yeah According, according to Ebrius, the Lord of the Rings I also is a love spent story between the night with 24 fucking rabbits. You what? I also spent the night with 24 rabbits. No, it's the not... rabbits are in. The I rabbits are in. They were fucking rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. I say, if they're fucking rabbits, you've probably now got like 124. Nah, he's got a big asshole. <laughs> well, that joke went over everyone's head. That's cool. No, it didn't. We just didn't, didn't react. It's fine. We're just ignoring it. The better it. we move on, the, the sooner we move on, the better. I thought. Yeah. Yes. Sure. There's no electricity and batteries in this world, so they were pretty useless. Um, but those rabbits are pretty rampant, though. Yeah. Um. um so yes. I would like rabbits? to add most of the stuff to my bag and then leave the box. Um. The mason jars. Just... <laughs> this is where the mason jars are funny. They're open mason jars. Well, of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? Well, yeah, because. They were going to be used to be painted, and they're like very. Because vicious. if they had lids on, it'd be easy for you to take them away. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, if you want to test the the paint sort of stuff, or what you believe is like some, it it I I can tell you more, but you can tell me if you want. How you no, can well, test I, I I kind of just wanted to empty the box as to leave the box for Karen later, to, <laughs> uh, as a. You could burn it. That wouldn't leave the box for later. That's fair. Well, I, I wanted to leave the box as a like very you weird could... metaphor for like fill it up with useful stuff instead of this shit. You could use the paints to paint the box. You could, you could, you could leave a note in it saying for Trevor. He's down I the road. Have nothing to write notes with. You got paint some paper. You got paint. Exactly. <laughs> I've got nothing to write notes with. <laughs> Uh, I will give you a few I, minutes to decide. What if you're if it isn't a, if it isn't a pick or like uh, a uh, a chisel and stuff like that, no, it, it won't happen. Yeah, that's true. You wouldn't know what to do with it as a dwarf. Yeah, exactly. Um, just 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 to give you a minute to think of what to do with those jars and stuff, and you're ha as you're having your breakfast, and for because like you just you can leave them there for a few minutes. Like no one's around. Karen's pissed off with her two mates in the forest to go set up their crap. Um. The gnome, you've woken up. It's yeah. It's it's about if you want to get real terms with it, it's about like an hour, forty minutes to an hour after the two lads were woken rudely. Okay, so I'm just gonna put like some clothes on, and and I'm gonna just go for a little wander around the rest of the house, like see what else there is. Um, you gotta you try to sneak around, or are you try to. Uh, I'm not making a lot of noise, but I'm also not trying to stay hidden at the same time. I'm just being like and it's, light footed. I, you, you, so you're not so uh, back to the whole making up thing. You weren't trying to get up early to do this before people would be up. You're just getting up. It's early. You're looking around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. In case you want to do. Um, do you try doors or? You kind of slow. I don't know. I, I, are there any doors? Well, there's the two across. You went past. There were three doors. To work, so you walked in the third door on the left. So there's obviously two doors before you. There was a small corridor. You you saw the kitchen the night before. There was obviously a door before the kitchen because there was two doors there, decently spaced out. And the corridor went down for what seemed to look like another two hundred meters or so. So if you walk down, you'll see more doors. The doors are very flush with the uh, wall, and they're made of like the same sort of like stone cobbling. So it's hard to see unless you're at the door. But like looking around, you can see them. So there is doors. They're just like you'd have to. Basically, as you walk up, you notice, oh, that's a door. But if you weren't looking and you didn't know what to look for, you would just think it's a wall from a distance. That's kind of the point of this. Place. All right. Well, I'll leave the doors that I've passed already for now, and I'm going to go deeper, like further into the building. Yeah. I don't know if it is just literally a corridor or if it's going to open up into an open area or what. So. Yeah, and are you actively trying? Are you like if a door is not open, are you touching it? 
Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not touching anything that's so, not open. When you got out and you looked left and right, you obviously saw the door you came through. Nothing yeah. else seemed to be different from there. There isn't anyone in the corridor up there anymore. Um, the candles are still lit, roughly the same position they were the night before. Someone might have changed them out, for all you know, but eh, it is what it is. And it did look like a hundred meters or so down the corridor was the end of this corridor, but it was like, and none of the doors seem open. It was about like 50, it was like 50 meters, not even. Like it was, it it had some sort of like illusion from the way it was shaped and the way the walls are flat flushed. It wasn't very far down. And the kitchen was also closed this morning as well. So there's like some sort of optical illusion sort of thing going on for how they perceive this place. But it's not as far down as you you would think. So I get to the end and it's, it's, it's literally just a corridor with doors. Yeah, yeah, and then you'd have to open the doors to figure out what's going on through them. All right, then. Well, I'll, I, if I've got to the end and there's nothing there, then I'll head back. Okay, yeah. Um, and start uh, um, checking some of the doors. Y- if y- they're open. You haven't noticed, and, I just, and I'm going to ask this because everyone needs to do this in the morning. There wasn't a, a chamber pot in your bed, bedroom. Okay. Where are you going to piss? Everyone needs to piss in the morning. You holding it in? I disagree with that statement. I I've never woken up and not need to piss. I wake up every morning, and as soon as I get out of bed, you also go pissing three times a stream. Yeah, yeah. In, in the middle of a, in the middle of an account, in the middle of a a, a fight in Dorfheim as well, because I piss a lot. But generally speaking, you can hold it in for five or so minutes while you're pissing about, looking around. But do you just leave, or do you? I, I would I would feel like it's important to know what what you're doing, because the lads can just piss out in the forest for all I care. I don't need to pee at the moment. I, I'm used to, like, I, I can hold it for a little bit. Yeah, that's I what mean, I'm on about. But are you planning to pack your shit and leave, or are you going to hang around this, this place for a while is what I'm getting at? Well, I'm going to check these doors. Now that I've checked the, the main corridor and it doesn't go anywhere, I'm going to start checking on the doors. That's what I just said. Oh, sorry. And then you, start, and then you said about going for a piss. Um, so you try your first door on your right, and you open it. Um, yeah. Can you roll, just before we get into another argument, I'm going to also go for a break. Uh, after this, but I need you to roll initiative. Karen is back with the vengeance. <laughs> there is an elf in front of you. Um, oh, uh, I rolled a three plus four seven. I'm going last. Uh, we'll see that. Um, oh, yeah, you're going last. Um, I'm just going to throw this in here. Uh, Fifteen plus something. We don't wait. We all rolling? No, no, no. Just to them. Just, just, just um. The, the gnome. Uh, I'm not going to call it rat, but they got this and you got, what did you say, seven? Yeah. And, oh, you can't change Ooh. names. I forgot about this. Uh, like I'll great. describe what you see in a second. Up properly. Pardon? Have Pardon? we leveled up properly? Yeah. Or are we like halfway through leveling up? Uh, yeah, I'll, 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 when I mute myself and I go to a different screen, I will explain that a little bit better. Um, yeah, so you see in front of you a halfling. He is not in the nip. Top, like he's pulling up. He was, he was. You could see he was about to pull up the trousers, but he's a blade in his hand, and he is pointed towards you aggressively to go. What are you doing in my room? And you've not seen this person the night before. He seemed fucking pissed. You got into his room, um, like, like, like you could see from the expression on his face that door was locked in his mind. He is. Fucking fuming. Um, but before you make a decision on what you're going to do, I'm going to get, take a small 500. And I will actually mute everything for once because I'm smart like that. <laughs> um, and I'll be back in, we'll say, five or six minutes. 